Today on Honest Paint and Speed Shop, we're going to talk about something serious. We're going to talk about the automotive maintenance deficient. This is a serious problem in America. There are 400,000 cars on the road right now that no one's ever checked their oil. They're sad, they're crying, and they're neglected. Make sure you tune into the following video to help save a sad car. So now I'm gonna check the oil. And first, we're gonna find the dipstick, which mine happens to be right here. So, since it's been sitting here, we don't, usually you would wipe it off, then you put it back in, then you check it. But this has been sitting here, so we don't really have to do that. So, seems like it's full. So you take your rag and wipe it off. And then you would stick her home if I can. Get on in there. So hard. There we go. Get on in there. Oh. Get on in there. Thank you. So there, and if you want to, if it was low or anything, I'll show you it over here when I get to the transmission. There is a cover on it, so it's you just fill it there, but I'll show, it, I'll show you it when I'm over there. So, like I said over there, there is a plug right here that you can fill the oil in, but make sure you have a funnel first, because you don't want to spill oil all over the place as well as burning oil. So, the dipstick, there's two dipsticks, one over there, one over here. So, the dipstick for the transmission is over here. And it's nice and red. And this one, I would have to, I can't actually check it unless it's running and it's either park or neutral, depends on what, what kind of car. And so, that's how you really check it. So, I saved some time on the brake fluid and I took the cap off. And so, normally, what you would do, this would be over the cap and it would just, you would gently push it in there and it would come off like that. So I noticed we're a little low and he seems like, oh, seems like there's a little bit of tilt on it, like, like that. Might as well check the tires. So I'm gonna check this tire, I already checked the other three, um, just didn't wanna waste time on it. So this one is, I'm gonna unscrew this valve stem cover. My dad probably should have asked me about this before putting it on. So, my dad also got this at Home Depot. When you turn it on, make sure it's on PSI. So we got 20 PSI in here. No wonder it's low. It should have 35 in here. So now that we've checked that stuff, let's go check the battery. So I'm going to check the battery with the meter. Alright, who took the battery? So today we did some basic maintenance stuff. Um, so hope you, I hope you learned something and don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep on wrenching and have a great day.